Surprise, we got Knott's Berry Farm passes. We're here to try out their annual Boysenberry Festival to taste some delicious food. So let's get on in there. Should we buy some boysenberry taffy? Hi, I'm not really sure how this works. This is my first time. So we want to buy some card, right? Some card? Yeah. So I got the 411. So this was $62.50, but you get six tastings. She says it's not a sample size. It's like a full-blown meal. So you get um, a map here, and it shows you the locations where you can pick your tastings from. And then they scan this QR code, and then that selects your tasting. So it's pretty similar to Disneyland. Yeah. How do you do it? It just sounds like this one, they gave you a lot more than just samples. They're like trying to compete a little bit. Yeah, they're definitely doing a good job on price point. Okay, yeah. so where are we going to go first? Okay, so let's pick our items, and then we'll show you guys where we had to. Let's do it. Okay, the first stop we're going to go to is going to be at the Silver Bullet booth, and we're going to get the boysenberry barbecue beef barbacoa. It's on mac and cheese with some green onion. So let's get some see how delicious it is. Ooh. It's getting pretty uh, rainy in here. How are you feeling? A little sketched out because I don't <laughs> want this camera to break. Okay, so we got the mac and cheese. Jared hasn't seen it because he got us a plate because it's raining. Yes. And you can't tell from his glasses. <laughs> it's extremely rainy out here. Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like? I'm ready. Oh, wow. <laughs> So this is the plate that they give you for the mac and cheese and the barbecue poison berry barbacoa. Look at that. Now that's definitely not a sample plate. Yeah, they, they're outdoing Disneyland quite a bit in regards whoa, whoa, to portions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not, no, they we're are. not competing. They are. They're, I'm competing a little bit here. <laughs> So where's the boysenberry prevalent in this? It's going to be in the sauce. So it's like a mix, like a boysenberry barbecue sauce is what they say. What is this? Beef? Pork? Uh-huh. Beef. What do you think? So far, so good. I will say, in regards to flavor, Disneyland has a, a leg up on Knott's Farm, for sure. This ain't even really competing with the mac and cheese from Disneyland. Oh, so wait, are you saying that Disneyland's better? The taste. Oh. However, if I was just looking to get full, I think Nasberry Farm is offering me a better situation. This is like four times the amount that you get at Disneyland. Well, what do you think about the mac and cheese? Is that is that better than Disney or is Disney's mac and cheese better? This reminds me more or less of homemade mac and cheese that I could probably do myself, but it is good. I'm just not a huge fan of the beef. I will say I do agree. I think that the Disneyland one is better, the beef and the noodles. But I think the portion, it's worth the money that you're paying. You're, I mean, this is just one plate out of six that you can get. You can get sick <laughs> off of one of these passes for sure. This is, if they're giving you this well, much and you that. get six, that's major. <laughs> That should be a challenge. Eat six plates from the Boysenberry Festival and then go on a ride. We're going to eat this up and then we're going to see if we decide to stay in Knott's Berry Farm because it is raining. It's coming down pretty hard and as, as good as this camera is at night and as good as it does a lot of things, it is not waterproof. So it is a little sketchy to be filming here while it's raining. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to score this? A 6.6. Ooh, wow. Because it's not great, but it is good. And there's a lot of it. Perfect. You know, I would say though, the, the mac and cheese could be just a little bit saucier. As far as the meat, it's almost too heavy in the sauce. And I'm not getting anything overly pronounced in regards to boysenberry. I would have loved to see some sort of a boysenberry integration with the actual mac and cheese. Ooh. Then I believe this could have been up in the sevens or eights. You know what? what are you I, give it? I agree. And I'm going to probably give it about a five. What do you wish no, would have been No, I think the different? texture is good. I think that the amount of sauce to beef ratio, they did that, a really great job on that. I just think the taste is not, <laughs> I've just had better, <laughs> but. <laughs> All right, if you could offer some advice to the Knott's Berry Farm team on how to up this score for you. Maybe a little bit more seasoning. There's just a lack of seasoning and a ton of sauce. In regards to the boysenberry aspect, do you even taste it? No, and I agree with Jared. I think that they should have added the boysenberry with the mac and cheese somehow. And look, this is just one big chunk. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this chunk necessarily. But you'll find a way. I'll find a way, for sure. <laughs> I don't want to get my hands all dirty or else I would just rip it apart with my hands. But you know what? Here, one more bite before we stop this. I'm going to get a mix of the mac and cheese and the meat. Let's see if this does anything different. Maybe this chunk was the magical chunk. Cross our fingers. <laughs> Still don't taste any boysenberry. <laughs> Keeping my score at a 6-6. Six, six. Let's see if we're going to keep filming. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so the rain has stopped for a little bit. Yes. So why don't we figure out what we might want to get next? I think I'm leaning towards, as of right now, the cookie. I don't think I could eat meat for at least two days oh, after well, that. Oh, well, there is a black and, <laughs> black and shrimp stir fry <laughs> with lemon, rice, and boysenberry teriyaki sauce. 
I think that, that one play got bad. that one play got me kind of sick. Though. Okay, fine. Here's one I know you're gonna love. Ooh, it's boysenberry and parmesan boleta with roasted veggies and balsamic drizzle. <laughs> I thought that said pasta. That's why I thought you would like it, but no. No. Do they have any kind of a refreshing oh, drink? Look, there's a boysenberry barbecue chicken wings. Ooh, let's get a drink. After that big barbecue mac and cheese, we are thirsty, so we're gonna head over to Miner's Mac and Spuds for some berry mango smoothie. Let's head over. It sounds delicious. What do you think? Not too filling? Just right? Bad news, they're all out of the berry mango smoothie. Very disappointed, but we are going to try out the cucumber boysenberry lemonade. So let's head over to Wilderness Dance Hall to pick up our drink. Let's go. Thank you. Here it is. Hi. Just the regular cucumber boysenberry lemonade. Thank you. That looks pretty good. Let's go have some. So when I saw them putting it together, I think they poured the lemonade first and then they poured in the boysenberry. So you want to give it a mix? Ooh, now it's all boysenberry color. All right, here. All right, let's see. Wow, that's so good. It's definitely lemonade-y, <laughs> lemonade -y. But that boysenberry with the cucumber, I think is so good. I'm not a huge lemonade person. However, I will say that I like the roundness of the flavor this is providing. I think the boysenberry, is that a boysenberry yeah. right there? Mm -hmm. Do you want this or do you? No, you can Okay, I'm gonna eat it. But I like it. I think it's good, it's refreshing. And I'm actually glad we ended up getting this and not the smoothie. I feel like this is more refreshing. Yeah, evidently the smoothie is so popular that it was already sold out as you guys already know, but I'm excited to try it at some point in life. I definitely recommend this, what about you? I think it's good. It's, it's crazy to me that this costs the same amount in essence as that full plate of macaroni mm -hmm. and cheese and barbacoa, whatever it was. Barbacoa. But barbacoa. As far as a refreshing drink, this is a 7.8 to me. Nice, I would actually say it's probably 8.6. I think it's, like you said, really refreshing refreshing. The boysenberry flavor really gives you a punch because I'm also not a huge fan of lemonade and the cucumber is just a perfect mix in there. So 8.5. Yeah, it definitely settles out the tartness of what a typical lemonade would have. Yeah. So I like it. Me too. Highly recommend. So do we have an idea of what we want to get next already or no? No, but I think we are going to try to taste some desserts because I think we're in the mood for desserts now, right? Let's do it. Let's see what we can get here. All right, let's go. We've decided guys, we are getting the boysenberry chocolate stuffed cookie. I'm so excited. Let's head over to Wilderness Dogs and Drinks to pick that up. All right, so evidently the double chocolate boysenberry stuffed cookie is extremely popular. <laughs> Everything that we like, everyone else is liking too, <laughs> or they just didn't have high hopes and them doing well, so they made a limited run. So now we are headed over to the Ghost Rider Bakery because evidently they might have the cookies. Fingers crossed. Very high in demand, these cookies. So what are your thoughts so far on the boysenberry festival here at Knott's Berry Farm in the beautiful Buena Park, <laughs> California? I'm actually really enjoying it. I've never been, even though I used to come here all the time. I used to work here and I've actually never gone to the festival. So it's pretty cool to see all the different vendors. What about you? I like it. You know, it's been a while. I used to come when I was younger every day in the summer. I was what you would call a local and I was looking for the ladies, <laughs> all that good stuff. I mean, if you guys are local here to Knott's Berry Farm, you know, this is a place to find a partner. It's a good place to socialize if you're a teenager. Yeah. And actually though, now they do have a new rule where if you're under 50, you have to have a parent with you, which I think is probably for the best. Yeah. When I was younger, I was like 14 coming here every day without my mom <laughs> or dad. And there was definitely, you know, uh, there were some 14 year olds that maybe could have used a chaperone at that time. Oh my God. So now we are headed to the bakery. Hopefully they have the cookie. And yeah, let's see how it tastes. Let's do it. <laughs> so do they have the cookie? They have it. We're in business. They actually have so much stuff that looks so good. I think we might have to order something else too if you're in the mood for it. We've got the goods. Let's sit down and taste this cookie to see if it's really as delicious as everybody's talking about. All right, should we show off how big this cookie is? Do it, or I'll do it. Look at that. Wow, you definitely see the boysenberry in that. Ooh, gooey. I don't know if I got the cool <laughs> shot I was looking to get right there, but hey, this is the boysenberry stuff double chocolate cookie. Sold out everywhere except for one spot that we found it at, so I guess not sold out everywhere, but let's see if it's worth the hype. I definitely can just right off the bat smell the double uh, chocolate on there. It smells pretty good. It's definitely chocolatey. Gooey, right? 
I like cookies that have a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of like soft baked cookies. So for me immediately, I don't really like this very much. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything I can do to make me like it, like maybe adding ice cream on top of it, warming it up. But I think I would have to put this in an air fryer in order for me to really enjoy this. As far as the flavor goes though, it's all right. I don't know if I like the level of tart that I'm experiencing. I don't know if the flavors are balancing each other out very nicely. However, I'm gonna have one more little bite while, while, while Sandy explains how she feels about it and let's see if I change my mind. I agree, I think it's too soft. I do like a crunch in my cookie, but I'm not hating on no chewy cookie. But this is just, I mean, look at this. This is so thick and it's really chewy in the middle. The flavor is, I think the chocolate is overpowering any boysenberry that they put in there. So I feel like I would not purchase this again. It's not my favorite. So I'm gonna give this probably about a 5.8. I think it's worth the so money you that think, you're- So you think this is better than the mac and cheese? You gave the mac and cheese a five. That's right. Okay, I give this a <laughs> A 4.8 then. <laughs> I, for what it is, I will give it a 5.2, but personally, uh, I don't know if I could recommend this anyway, unless you like exactly what we said. A large, soft, gooey cookie with a lot of tarts. Maybe some whipped cream would make this a little bit better. Something that would offer more of a creaminess to it to kind of balance out the sharpness of the boysenberry. I actually am gonna give this a 5.8. I know it's more than the mac and cheese, but I feel like it's dessert. So it's on a different scale, you know? I will say, I, I just, I wanna recommend maybe adding some actual chocolate chips <laughs> that would add some crunch. My personal opinion is it could benefit greatly from some white chocolate chips. However, regardless, I'm gonna give it a 4.6. There it is again. I'm gonna take one more bite maybe my mind's changed after this maybe not and then let's figure out what we're gonna get next my mind is definitely not changed i wouldn't get this again again it's just it's too much the size is too much and the flavor is just it's not wowing me you know i'm not even in the universe of wowness <laughs> with this so yeah i mean we got quite a bit left <laughs> So one thing is they're big, they're huge. If you just want a lot of something that tastes decently okay, get this cookie. I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to be nice. It, it's very hard to be nice about it. Yes, I think we maybe should we go out with a bang and get a funnel cake? Anything else. <laughs> So after eating that huge cookie. <laughs> we didn't finish it by the way. Maybe we ate half of it and it was still way too much for two people. Way too much. I think it's the best for us to go walk around and check out the cool vendors that the Boysenberry Festival has to offer. What does that smell? It smells like popcorn. <laughs> oh, maybe we need to get some popcorn. No way. Well, let's go check out. They have a bunch of cool vendors here for the Boysenberry Festival. Why don't we get some cool shots of those, see if there's anything that we want to get. Yeah. And just get some walking done because I need to walk off some of that damn cookie. <laughs> let's go. Look at these cute dinosaurs our earrings oh my gosh look at these little chicken earrings wow <laughs> how do they look very kooky <laughs> <laughs> they have hot dog ones too wainer earrings <laughs> oh they have mushroom ones uh, that looks like at a glass Ooh. that's pretty funky these are cute quite a bit of mushroom ones all right i can look at these all day let's go look at some more vendors what have you found? All right, boysenberry flavored ranch dressing. I was about to say, that sounds pretty good. That right? sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I think we have to buy this. Boysenberry coffee syrup. Would you put this in your coffee? No. <laughs> I, I'm not a huge boysenberry person. I don't know, I, I think maybe by itself it's okay, but mixing it so much isn't really, I isn't mean, doing it for me. There you, you know? go, boysenberry ketchup. I might You'll try that. that. I might try something uh, with some tart and ketchup in it. Yeah. Wrap it all up to go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this. Did you season pass? Oh, I do. What kind of discount does the season pass give you? 10%. 10%. Wow. Woohoo! In that case, we should buy something else. Ooh, this is pretty cool stuff. Oh, like a jellyfish light? Ooh. That's very impressive. Wow. Oh, wow, look. Like These things ain't cheap. <laughs> they even have them in like a glass, like a water bottle. Not water bottle. Ooh, very cool. I think this is more of a looking uh, booth than there's a buying <laughs> booth. From all the movies, the Madagascar movies. Wow. <laughs> is that a pipe? <laughs> no. Is that's any so of this functional? That's so cute. I love it. 
Uh, wow, these are pretty cool. Look at that. We got some cups. In all reality, 60 bucks or so. This is hand blown. That's not very bad. This no. Could, this is a good deal. That's very impressive. I like this. My favorite though is definitely little mushroom guys. It's like a Mario Luigi mushroom. Yeah. All right, let's check out what else they have to offer us here at the Boysenberry Festival. I mean, I think Disneyland is following me. Look, the little queen. These are soaps. They got little rubber duckies. Dang, look at all the rubber duckies. <laughs> $3 or four for 10, that's not bad. Look, and I'm pretty sure these are full on soaps too. Wow. That's very nice. Very cool, very cool. And, I mean, who doesn't love a scrunchie? You know what I'm saying? Knott's Berry Farm, your festival has it all. Loving all of the vendors here at Knott's Berry Farms Festival. So excited to try out the coffee syrup that we purchased. We are totally full from our cookie that we just ate. So we're gonna save our last three food items for the next time that we come. We're gonna walk around the park and I'm terrified of roller coasters. So let's see if Jared can find a ride and maybe he'll do a mid-ride review. Let's go. So we've been walking around and I realized that duh, Knott's has these like carnival games. I thought it would be fun to play. So we're gonna go check one out and see who wins between the two of us. Let's do it. Let's figure out which game we're gonna play here and then a mid-ride review. <laughs> All right, so are we gonna try the strikeout? <laughs> Let's do it. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty confident. How do you feel? I think I'm gonna do all right. I don't know if I'm gonna win something, but I'm gonna aim for the little bear. <laughs> one ball, then you get a bear. If you get two balls, then you get a hat. If you get three balls, then you get a jersey. So, you don't wanna go for that jersey, okay? Perfect. Thank you. Wow, very intense. <laughs> very so what, intense. Is, what is your strategy here? Uh, aim for the, the hole. <laughs> there it is. There it is, folks. No. Oh, 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 wow. We got two more shots. Wow. Oh, oh for a shot. <laughs> how do you feel right. it went? I feel like better than expected. I'm obviously rusty, but I'm excited to see how you're going to do. All right, how do you feel about it? This guy is very intense. I don't know if the mic is picking him up, but he's very intense. Directly after the means you guys have a replay, which means you get two, but one extra ball. We got right. an extra ball. <laughs> you got right. this. Let's do it. Whoa. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Oh, all right. I'm killing him. I'm, I'm killing him. This is not my Don't game. Don't kill him. Come on. You got this. Let's do it. Oh, oh my gosh. So close. In, in and out. <laughs> it just in and out. Oh. Okay, I didn't do very good, but hey, I got one in and out. I feel like it's the closest I've ever gotten in the game. And I really don't care if we win a prize or not, you know what I'm saying? What? That's the whole point. The fun is winning. The prize is a bonus. But now I think I'm gonna go on a ride, and I think I'm gonna go on the exhilarator. What? You think you can hold on to the camera and go on that ride? I don't know if you can see any of the uh, action so far, but this is one of the rides that I did go on the first time that we came, and it was pretty terrifying. There was a lady next to me because Sandy was too afraid to go on it, <laughs> and uh, she was almost crying when we took off. So uh, yeah, I would be crying too. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, right there. I say ooh. You say ah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. This is terrifying. <laughs> just that launch that they like at first is just, it's very scary. But it's only 23 seconds long. Isn't that crazy? So you just count to 23 and then it's over. So I'm officially <laughs> next. The nerves are sitting in. I'm actually more nervous because it's getting a little bit dark here that I'll be able to even get a very good shot for you guys. But we'll see. All right, well, that didn't necessarily go as planned. I knew going into it that there was a chance they would not let me film. I tried to be super low key about it. I'm sure Sandy got all the footage and we'll put it here. But as I was about to take off, I just heard the guy to the left of me say, I'm too scared to ask. I'm too nervous to ask. And then the guy to the right of me came over and said, sir, by any chance, do you have something in your hands? <laughs> And I said, I do, can I not film it? And he said, no, but we can put it in the cubbies. So there you go. 
So I mean, that ride is pretty terrifying, like I said. I only wanted to go on it so we could film. So the fact that I couldn't film, it's kind of a bust, but hey. That was Knott's Berry Farm for today. What are your thoughts? I had such a great time and I can't wait to come back and maybe, just maybe, I'll go on a ride too. Wow. Maybe. That would be pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm just hoping that when we come back next time, we're able to sneak this onto a couple of rides. <laughs> you know? I hope so. I, maybe not that ride, but hopefully the other rides. They're, they're less crazy. Yeah, but I think next time we come back, we'll get the last three remaining items for the Boysenberry Festival. We'll go ahead and check out the list when we come back. We know what we want to get. And then we'll think of a couple rides that we have the highest probability of being able to film on. Hmm. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.